Hey guys, what is up? It's me back with another video, Max. Um, today I will be showing you how to solve a Rubik's 3x3. It's already scrambled, but you know how it. First, you're going to want to know. First, you're wa going to want to know the pieces of the Rubik's Cube. I'm just going to tell you the pieces that are on here because it would be too hard to explain the stuff that's inside this. But anyways, this is an edge piece. It will always be an edge piece. An edge piece will never be beside another edge piece like this. These are corners. Corners have three colors and they can be flipped like this so now it's over here and it's flipped to the red side up and it has a lot and the corners will never be beside corners and there will never be the same color same two of the same colors on every on any of these pieces a centerpiece is how you determine what color this is. And no matter how I turn it, white will always be opposite to yellow. Green will always be opposite to blue. Red will always be up to up wait. Red will always be opposite to orange. And <coughs> and yeah. So let's get right into it. So, I'll just scramble it up a bit more. So, first of all, you want to make the white cross. You could do it on any other color, but I like starting with white because it has the logo. So, you want to make it so, you want to make it so there's a cross, and it's all attaching like this. So here's one piece in, in the right place. So now you're going to want to look around the cube for another edge piece. If it's on the bottom, you want to spin it to whatever color it is. So this, like that. And that, so it's like, so like this is attached in there. Now you want to make sure when you turn it up, it doesn't hurt anything. So there, you got half of the center. Next, if you have one on the middle, you first have to make it so if it was over here, you can spin it twice and it's attached here. And then you can just pull it up. There you go. Half of the cross. Well, you just need to do a quarter. So now, if it's on the bottom, again, you make it so it's aligned. Then you spin it up twice. Then boom you done the cross now you're going to want to put in all the edges to make the first layer this is one edge how do you you're probably asking how do you put it in well you first see that's orange that center is orange so you spin it like that so it's like this and then greens here Green is here. You spin it away, spin this down, bring it in, pull it up. Now you got this edge piece in. You're going to want to do that to all of it. All of them. So here, perfect. You move it into the red side. They'll know. You'll move it. So red, 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 green, green. Then you're going to want to bring it away. So I bring it away, bring this down, put it in, and pull it up. This will be a really simple way. See, now you have this. Now you have this, this. So now, if there's a, if you can't look on the, if you can't look on the bottom two layers, find any if you find any edge pieces you look where are on the bottom you look at these there's a white how do we get it down to the bottom 
see if it's there. You bring it down. You spin the bottom twice. No, wait, three times. No. Tw yeah, one. Once. So that edge piece is underneath this. That edge piece is underneath this. This cor that corner piece is under the edge piece. So then you can bring it up. Then there will be one here. Now you can just do the algorithm to bring it in. And there's one more center piece right here. There's a simple algorithm that will turn this. But that, well, there's a hard algorithm that can turn that corner. But we can do it the easier way. You bring the front down, you take this away. So it was here, take it away. Because if we take it away like this, when we bring it back up, well, if we bring it back up, it will be on the bottom. So. If we do this and then bring it away, so you can still see it when you bring this like this, saved, and this. Now you can just spin it so it's like this. Bring it away, bring this down, put it in, and pull it up. Now you've got the first layer soft. You want to attach it so it's like this. And all the others going to be a now you're going to want to make this like so put in the edges like this. We were lucky and we already got one, but now you want to look on the bottom layer. So this layer, if you see one that does not have yellow, which is your bottom color, you want to attach it to its center so it makes a T form. And then if you want to bring it to this in here, you bring it away, bring the side down, bring it in, and pull it up. Now this piece is attached, so then you can just easily do that form of putting it in. Now since we were already lucky, we can do that. If I look in the bottom layer, here's another one. Attach it. As you can see, it has like that. I want that to go into here, to this lot. Um, you just you wanna you wanna do the same out. Bring it away, bring it down, put it in, and pull it up. Then slide this easily. Bring it away. Easily bring it away, bring it down, bring it down, put it in, and pull it up. Now you only solve the second layer. Now, if if you got the T shape, if you bring it, away, you got the T shape. It's right here. Bring it away. Bring this down. Put it in. Pull it up. Now, this is formed. You can bring it away, bring this down, put it in, and pull it up. Now you solved the full part. If if there was something like this, right? and you did it. If it was like this, where the edge piece is stuck in there, you just want to replace it with one of the bottom edges. So then you can re then you can take that out and then replace it with and flip it, and then we'll be good. So let's just bring it away. No wait, yeah, bring it away, bring it down, bring it in. Right. So you wanna you wanna bring it away, bring it down, bring it in and pull it up. Now it won't be attached, 
so then you can just bring it in easily. Then, now the thing was popped out, it's right here. You want to attach it with the center, bring it away, bring it down, put it in, and pull it up. Then you can just bring it in. Then you solve the full second layer. Good job for you if you solved the full second layer layer and if you didn't keep on watching this video you'll eventually click to it or watch red kb's video which is which is how i look so now you want to solve the top side face yeah um as you can see these these are yellow the pieces up here yellow every if you look around the top this top face of your cheek Every single piece of it has yellow. Now you just need to make sure all the yellow is facing up. Then take the yellows around and switch them all around, and it will be done. So if it's if um if it's like so if it's like a dot, you can hold it. However, the people with other things just wait. I will show you that in a second. So you can hold it however you want, and then you just have to do front. What you just have to do so it's front, up, right. Now that you got this kind of pipe thing, you want to hold it with one of it toward yeah, one one of it towards you. And the other one towards the right. So now you just want to do the other the algorithm again. Now you click this. You want to hold it horizontally. Then you can do the algorithm again. Now you've gotten the, usually the way cross. So, if you got this, you want to hold it so it's facing like this for you. Then you want to do this algorithm. Bring this down, spin the top twice, bring this up, bring this to here, this down, and bring this up. Now, you've got the cross. You're trying to have one edge facing up, so then you can just finish it off. So there, spin the top twice, bring this up, bring this here, bring this down, and bring this up. Now you got this again. You want to train it to the top again, and then spin do the algorithm again. Now you've got one of these. You want to face it so it's like this towards you in the bottom right corner facing you the top facing you then you want to do the spin the top twice then now it's up here you want to spin that twice bring this down spin the top twice bring this up bring this like this like this bring this down Now you've solved the whole top face. You want you will wanna look around for two like oh there we go two like this. Then you will bring it to behind you so it's like this. For you it should be like this. so back here. And you wanna do. Then you will, you will, so it's here, you bring it behind you, then you do the front, then you do the algorithm. So you're holding it with it behind you, so it would look like this for you. And you do this, and then behind you, you would do the back two. Front, down, two, two. Now, the 
we're going to have all of them with at least one side complete. Now you're going to have all these done. Now you can just go like this up, like this, done. Then you bring this back, bring this down, and yeah, just bring this off. Now you've solved the Rubik's Cube. If you have this parity, where you don't have, where you don't have any complete for you, you can just do the same algorithm. And then you hopefully have one side. And then you can just do the algorithm again. And then it would solve. But if that didn't work out for you, you do it again. And I hope you guys like this. I will be coming out with a 2x2 tutorial and a 4x4 tutorial. The 4x4, I will have two parts. So, I hope you guys like this. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.